everybody. Right, I'm in, I'm in week two of coronavirus lockdown and I'm not taking that light-heartedly, it's very serious. So we're, we're, we're more or less isolated to us homes at the moment. So in this part then, I'm on the smoke box part two. And if you've seen part one, if or if you didn't see it, take a look at that. And in this part, <clears throat> I'm going to be making the hinge pin the lugs, the handles, the dart, the brackets, the crossbar and also machining the door up and also I'm going to be machining the chimney hole in the smoke box the steam pipe outlet holes in the side the exhaust pipe up the middle and the, the blower elbow will fit I think that's everything and I'm going to be doing this on my milling machine clamped to an angle plate if you've not got a milling machine remember you can do this without a milling machine this loco you'll have to clamp your or your angle plate in your lathe and do it that way so I've got all my materials for all the items and I'm just about to make a start on them but before I do them I'm going to put this on my milling machine and drill this these holes right so I'm just clocking my angle plate up on my milling machine to get that square and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to clamp this smoke box to the angle plate And once I've got it set in position, I'm just going to dr drill it with a centre drill it, drill it with a series of drills, and then put my boring head in, and just bore it out inch and three quarter. So if you've not got a milling machine, you can do this in the lathe, and if, if you don't want to set your lathe up to do that, you, you could chain drill it and file it out, I suppose. The easy, an easy way to get the holes for the uh, for the steam pipes to, to to come out to the cylinders is what I'm doing. I've left it set up. I've put some marking blue roughly where where they've got to be, and they've got to be inch and five sixteenths from the bottom of the smoke box up and on the centre line of of the chimney. So I've I've got a block inch and a quarter uh, sorry inch and five sixteenths high put some marking blue on and all I've done is scribe a line off this block and then I've got my calipers set to the distance to the centre from this face and just scribed a line up and then I've done the same on the other side and I've put a mirror at the back of my machine. Again, come off with this block, scribed a line across, and then got my calipers and scribed a line up like that. 
So now I've got them two holes identical on each side. Okay then I've got all the components finished now for this part of the project. That is the crossbar, the dart, the handles, the hinge pin, the hinges, the crossbar brackets. I've also made the steam pipe unions that, that will be silver soldered into, into the smoke box. I've got the lugs finished, now it, it tells me to rivet, to rivet them in from the back. I think while I'm silver soldering these unions and I might just put a dab of solder on them, but before I do that I'll put the inch pin in to make sure it's all lined up correctly. The little brackets for the crossbar, they've got to be riveted on, uh, on the inside. And then I'll file the rivets flush on the outside. That dart and the handles, you have to file a square in one of the handles. And then there's a 2BA locking handle with a 2BA thread on. Like so. And then that dart is going to, as the door closes, you turn the handle, the dart grabs hold of the crossbar, and then you just lock it off with that outside handle. <laughs> 